Yes, a carload of <laughs> a carload of uh, people have just rocked up. Instagram, what should I go and film? And the first lot of things I've got uh, from Pardo, David Partington, cheers, Dog Rock, massive fan. So I'm gonna go and film Dog Rock. From Mel Bauer, legend, I got the gap. Pretty standard, but had to be done. There's a bit of a gap lot below the clouds there. Hopefully the sun will come in and right as it's setting, we'll get this beautiful light beaming in. We've got a couple of crew on the on top here and looking down, so Let's get this, uh, let's get the bird in the sky. You've got to get it up, get the shot, no matter what it's doing. Hey, because you know what I say? No matter the weather, put something together. Over the gap there was really nice. It was so, I got some really nice light as it hit. All set up. And uh, I'm gonna get to bed. It's probably like 9.30, probably earlier. 9.30, I'm gonna get up and do the next scene of this commercial, which is going to be Bald Head. I'm gonna hike Bald Head. Hike it, drone it, film it. This is unbelievable. I love this view coming down into Bald Head. You're walking down the hill and, and through, you've got to go through the bush a little bit and it just opens up to this whole view of Bald Head and you can see where you've got to go. You see where you've got to hike up the hill and you can see the end point over there in the distance. So this is what we're working with here. This hike up this hill, first ridge, couple of ridges with this amazing view. Just massive the waves coming in here. But this is, this is what it's about. It's getting uncomfortable. It's holding myself accountable for trying to, for a challenge to, to shoot a commercial. I mean, I shoot commercial work, but it's nothing for, I don't shoot anything around tourism. So it's being accountable. It's getting uncomfortable and, and just putting yourself out there. So you've got it, you've got to create something. And through that uncomfort, through that forcing yourself of doing something, that's when you grow, that's when you learn. And where there's growth, that's when the skill is gained. Because you're learning new things every time you put yourself out there, every time you get uncomfortable, every time you challenge yourself. It's about that growth and in your business, that's what you need time and time again, because that is when you'll get to the next level. That's when you upskill. And it's super important if you want to continue to progress, you have to just keep doing shit that is hard. Oh, swallowing a fly, running into a spider's web, getting a mid-year eyeball. The sun's already gone past that ridge, so I mean, I've <laughs> missed it, but uh, so sweaty. But um, I'm gonna have to get the drone up anyway, and I might catch it on the next level, but whatever, like, you don't always get the right light, you don't always get the right conditions. You just gotta create the story and, focus on story because if you're not getting the right conditions you've just got to hold your story strong and it doesn't matter really as long as you're telling a story you're pulling emotion that's it that's all that matters really and then the weather's and the condition is a bonus you don't get in life what you want you get in life what you are become the photographer become the filmmaker become the lawyer Whatever you're trying to do, become the athlete. Just be it. Be consumed by your idols and who you look up to and become what you are trying to aspire. Start doing the work that you see other people doing where you want to be. You have to do the verb to become the noun. To be a YouTuber, you just do YouTube content. To be a photographer, you take photographs. To be a filmmaker, you make films. Become that and that will all of a sudden take over and you'll be in that world in that space doing the thing that you're trying to achieve I 
have hiked Bald Head. I've got some content there, got some drone stuff from there. I've come back, had a quick shower, had some baked beans. I'm gonna quickly check out and then I'm gonna go to Anzac Hill and also the wind farm. But check this out. I got this uh, from uh, J Car before I left before I left uh, Bustledon. It's a flint. I actually lit the lit a, uh, a fire for the um, a stove last night. Ready? Oh, <laughs> solid! <laughs> How good is this? Actually works pretty well. Not bad. And then got a window smasher. Guys, I want to smash windows, and I don't know. It's about it. Not bad. Oh shit! All right, time to go. Got to finish this film. It's a long pause. Isn't it? Lime burners. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> okay, Are you open? Yes. Great. Uh, Complex spice and dried yeah. fruit aromas when neat. Add a splash of water to unleash malted barley. Pour yeah. it. So we described that one as a Christmas cake in a glass. So that one's got your dried fruit and nuts, raisins, sultana, caramel, and bacon spices. Great, it's delicious. Can I drive after drinking that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, binners, that one was for you, mate. Cork, lime burners, done, check, on to the next thing, Anzac, Anzac Hill. Quick steak sandwich. Amy Point Cafe, beautiful coffee. Got to eat, then I got to jump into my car and do the narration, oh, yes. and then finish this film off. It is 1.20, delivery time is four. I've gone to my ute where it's a bit more quiet and I've just about finished this edit and it's taken me, yeah, just over an hour to throw something together, even put in a little cheeky transition in there. And I've just got to color grade it. Listen to this sneak peek of the David Attenborough speech. With its spectacular rugged coastlines and extraordinary seascapes, Albany has an impressive amount of. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. It's not bad. Oh, I've just got to color grade it and I'm done. I'm bad as bad can be, so bad that it's hard to believe. With its spectacular rugged coastlines and extraordinary seascapes, Albany has an impressive amount of hiking trails. It is full of history throughout the township that is well worth the visit. Join me, David Attenborough, as I take you on a journey from lime burners to dog rock. There is always a place in my heart for Albany. <laughs>